I'm convinced that many modern members of the Seventh Day Adventist organization have been deceived, misled, and flat out lied to concerning the history of the Seventh Day Adventist organization, uh, especially changes made after 1980 when at Glacier View, Colorado, uh, Desmond Ford presented some arguments to the Seventh Day Adventist Conference to show how wrong some of the doctrines of the Seventh Day Adventist organization were. Following that, he was quickly uh, excommunicated from the church. And the work that he did, some 990 pages of work, was pretty much shoved under the, wor under the rug, and members of the organization and in the churches just flat out lied to. As a result of that conference, over 100 ministers left the Seventh Day Adventist organization. And as I mentioned earlier, many modern day uh, members of the Seventh Day Adventist are not aware of the deceptive history and the changing of doctrines that has taken place through the years. Changing of doctrines because of failed prophecies of Ellen White and the necessity to change doctrines to hide her failed prophecies and to further deceive people. And many are not aware of the chronological order of events that took place between 1844 and 1851 that will later lead to the deception and the changing of many of the doctrines that were never there in the early, with the early pioneers of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. <clears throat> so after a year now, I'm getting ready to wrap up my dealings with the Seventh-day Adventist. But before I do that, I'm going to make a series of videos starting off with 1843 leading up through uh, 1851 and showing in a chronological order the events that took place during those uh, years, especially from 1844 to 1851, and show the hopefully show the modern day members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and those who are even thinking about becoming members how drastically the doctrines of the Seventh-day Adventist changed after 1851 when Jesus Christ did not come back in 1851 as Ellen White had predicted. Uh, there were some doctrinal changes that were not there before then but yet they had to be somehow brought up and deceptions made in order to cover for her failed her fail prophecies. So I intend to show in this series of videos as I wrap up my dealing with the Seventh-day Adventist the chronological events that took place between 1844 and 1851. Hopefully there are those members in third world countries who will be able to see the truth for the first time. You see, here's the thing about it. you're not going to walk into a Seventh-day Adventist church and hear a pastor stand up and say, oh, by the way, did you realize that we are founded on a on false prophecies and date setting by Ellen White. Oh, by the way, did you know that after 1851, when things didn't come about the way Ellen White thought they were going to come about, that we had to change doctrines to cover up for her writings? Uh, did you know we had to even invent doctrines that we never uh, that were never there to begin with? Now you're not going to hear that. Now you're going to hear uh, uh, any of the pastors uh, stand up and say, "Oh, by the way, do you know that in order to uh, deceive our members that?" that we've even deleted and changed some of the writings of Ellen White. Uh, so in order to uh, make it look better for her, and do you think, they, do you think that any of the pastors are going to stand up and say, oh, by the way, don't worry about a Bible, that we interpret the Bible according to the writings of Ellen White anyway, so you really won't need a Bible unless you buy the study Bible of Seventh-day Adventist that has a running commentary from Ellen White at the bottom because it doesn't matter what is really there in the Bible, whether it's real or not, we're going to still interpret the, the Bible according to the writings of Ellen White. That don't, you think that any pastor in their right mind is going to stand up and tell people that? Or are they slowly going to sucker them into a cult and then allow the people to start finding out about it? After years of building friendships uh, and, and, uh, and being part of an organization to find out the real truth that their, that their conference has, has misled them. So uh, again, uh, I'm going to make a series of videos showing how all of this came about and, and, and how after some hundred years or so now, better than a hundred years now, that it is more deceptive now than it ever was. And it, in fact, it has become nothing more than a religious cult
that calls the Catholic Church the whore of Babylon and prostitutes children of a whore. So all they are is an organization that has existed for over a hundred years that has had nothing in their preaching but hatred and animosity toward the Catholic Church and hatred and animosity toward other Protestants. Until then, this has been Godless saying, God bless. <laughs>